So, what do abusers do? They hurt you because they love you. At least, that's what they tell you. So they justify their bad behavior by telling you that they did something that they know is going to or has hurt you. And they justify that by saying they did it because they love you. It's always because they know what's best for you. They know what's better for you. They know you better than you do yourself. And these are the justifications that you face whenever you come across and try to bring to their awareness a behavior that has hurt you. They know they're doing this. It's it's just a tactic used by them to keep you um, under your control and also to chip away at your self-esteem. They chip away at your self-esteem. Little by little, you find yourself giving away all the values and all the beliefs that you have about yourself up to them. They decide how good you are at something. They decide your worth. They decide what you do and why you do it and it slowly chips away at how you feel about yourself and what you believe and expect from yourself and you have to remember that an abuser's goalposts of standards and expectations from you are going to be constantly changing they will constantly shift so no matter what you do it will never be good enough and that is ultimately what chips away at your self-esteem and your opinion about yourself another thing that you have to remember abusers expect radical change from you but none from themselves they let's say you started uh, dating someone so they know who you are they know what lifestyle you have but after getting together with you they will expect that you change everything about your life just to satisfy them. And when this comes into the equation of your relationship, be sure that you are dealing with a person with an abusive mentality or an all out abusive person affected by um, a cluster B personality disorder. So remember this, um, radical change from you, give up your friends, give up your job, give up whatever hobbies that you love, um, give all of that up for them to prove that you love them, but expect no change at all from their side. A big red flag, guys. When you're in a relationship where your hard-earned money is suddenly our hard-earned money. Um, in a healthy relationship, of course, especially if both partners are earning, there is the expectation that we will help each other out. That is different from what happens in abusive relationships because suddenly what's yours becomes by extension theirs. So they tell you what to do with your money. They tell you what you can and cannot do with what you're earning. And if they need a bailout or if they need help, they want your money to be there without any conditions, without any expectations. You should just be ready to give it all up. Um, this is a bit tricky to understand. And um, it's true that a couple of times or maybe a few times in your relationships and your marriage it can happen that your partner needs your help the big red flag to watch out for is if this is repeatedly happening if you see no initiative of change from your partner or the other person in your relationship and this is a constant expectation from you what's yours is there what's yours is ours and you don't see the same amount of effort and the same amount of willingness of the other person to support the family or to support the both of you with a lot of abusers uh with most of them in my experience um they do not practice what they preach so they will say a lot of things that they expect from you and from society in general a lot of behavior a lot of a lot of moral values they're going to be preaching this stuff all the time incessantly you will hear them lecturing you talking about it talking about how to how the world is not good enough what society can do to make things better all of this um, all of this type of talk but it will not come from them they're not going to practice what they preach suddenly when it comes to them to show the world and their partners and their families and friends what they are how they are contributing to making things better you won't see anything it, it they will they will simply not practice what they're preaching to others that's a great double standard and a big red flag and this is most commonly in the sort of communal types of abusive people communal narcissists and those types of people they will not practice what they preach. So always try to observe what a person is saying and whether his words are matching up to his actions. The words should be equal to the actions. And if they're not, you know, there's something fishy going on there. If you are an empathic person, 
and usually targets of abuse um, tend to be the more empathic uh, codependent types. Uh, abusers are some of the most unempathic people ever. Like um, to them, your needs do not matter. It doesn't matter. You could be talking to a wall for all they care. Only their needs matter. That's the lens in which to see the world. They, they're at the center. And you are just a byproduct or just someone who's there to help them figure out their needs and to help them give and give and give. Um, you will notice this with partners, especially when they're not listening. When you're talking and talking, you realize there's no impact. They're not listening to you. There's, there's not the same sort of empathic response that's coming coming back. If you find yourself um, getting into arguments really late at night and literally spending the whole night arguing, even though you know you have to go to work next, you have to go to college or you have to study, realize that you're with a person who has emotional issues because keeping you up at night, not letting you get to sleep, not letting you to eat in time, always distracting you with these arguments, um, are signs that a person does just simply does not care what your needs from from your life are and he's just bypassing them they promise to deliver or they will make a lot of promises to you but it won't work it won't happen they won't deliver on their promises they won't follow their words with actions so even if they say they will they will do something that you really need generally need help from them they will say it, they will say, I'm here for you, but nothing else will come. No action will come to support those words. So if you find yourself um, with a person like that, really reevaluate. It doesn't matter if it's a relationship or if it's in the workplace or with colleagues or with a partner or with a family. Really reevaluate to so give yourself the time to observe all the signs, inform yourself. There's a lot of other great material out there. Because if you stay in a situation like this, rest assured that you will become drained and empty by the end of it. And you will find yourself isolated from all types of support. So don't let it come to that extent. If it's happening, if you feel it, if your intuition is telling you, okay, this is, this is not working out, this seems fishy, then go ahead and inform yourself and really try to observe without that sort of emotional attachment observe what's happening is this person fitting the signs and then really take some time out to figure out for yourself what your next step should be i highly recommend that if you're going through such situations to really get yourself with a really really good therapist counselor or coach um, and just take this time to work on yourself and find yourself i'll end this one with this um Remember to watch all my other videos on inner child healing. If you're in Bonn, Germany, you can attend one of my free workshops on healing the inner child. Um, have a great week, guys.